Hey everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Ray's Reviews. We're less than 80 days away from the FIFA World Cup, which Crypto.com is one of the major sponsors. Does Crypto.com have something special planned for that next big round of user growth during the FIFA World Cup? Or is this just gonna be another missed opportunity due to the bear market? So these are my thoughts, stay tuned and let's go. All right, let's talk about how crypto.com can be smart and synergistic with the FIFA World Cup sponsorship. The FIFA World Cup is obviously huge, as I'm sure there are a lot of soccer or football fans around here. And the FIFA World Cup on average gains about 1 billion viewers, which is massive and puts it at an even bigger international event than even the Super Bowl. And obviously the last Super Bowl, we saw massive advertising from crypto companies and crypto.com was one of them with the LeBron James sponsorship, which happened just after the halftime show. But of course, back then, sentiment on crypto was at an all time high. And of course, sentiment on crypto has definitely changed since the Super Bowl. And there are definitely some causes of concern. But first off, let's talk about the overall global recession, which is pretty much everyone is hurting. And this doesn't just apply to crypto companies, but big tech companies as well. Like even big name fan companies like Facebook had their first quarterly revenue drop Last quarter, they invested heavily in the metaverse and that hasn't exactly been paying off. Google had earnings and revenue miss in the last quarter and they're thinking about ways, smarter ways to kind of grow their advertising platform. And on top of that, you have VC backed tech companies all around that are just doing these mass tech layoffs. It seems most companies are in capital preservation mode as they over anticipated the amount of growth that they would have this year after two really good boom years. And most people and companies are really just trying to survive the next couple of years. And my personal opinion is that we are in a global recession for at least the next 12 to 18 months. But hey, look on the bright side. If you're an icy white card holder, you'll finally get your crypto.com welcome package in that time. So with that backdrop, let's talk about crypto.com and let's talk about the sentiment since my last video. All right, so number one, with the drop in crypto earn rates and the nerfing of the crypto.com debit cards, crypto.com, I would say, is just not as attractive of an entry level product to most people. Now, I'm one of the biggest fans of crypto.com and long term, I think they will be fine and they're gearing up to be a top three exchange along with FTX and Binance. But I have to admit, even with Crypto.com being a sponsor for FIFA World Cup, one of the largest international sports events in the world with over 1 billion viewers on average, I still think it's gonna be difficult for them to attract new users this year for the simple fact that their current rewards and benefits just aren't very good. Now, I still think that they're gonna attract some steady growth, but it won't be exponential like in prior years. Like it's just really difficult to pitch these crypto.com debit cards right now compared to just a year ago to the mainstream population. Like crypto.com debit cards were superior to mainstream credit cards for a while, but right now you could definitely argue that they are inferior. After all, you can't even play the Spotify and Netflix, you know, free reimbursement anymore. The benefit has been reduced to just six months, whereas before it was a lifetime and one of the greatest ways to pitch the card. And the actual entry level cards like the Jade Green only giving you 2% crypto cash back with a $50 limit, that's just not super appealing. Or the Ruby Red card that gives you only like 1% crypto cash back with a $25 month reimbursement cap. I would say that most people still would prefer the mainstream credit cards like the Chase Unlimited Freedom card or the Wells Fargo Active Cash card, which is more appealing. But the other reason is number two, with the unresolved bankruptcies of Celsius Network and Voyager Digital, plus all these other C5 platforms like HODL not freezing withdrawals, like most mainstream people are scared of C5, which is a very legitimate and valid concern. Just imagine you work so hard to put your funds onto these C5 platforms just to have it vanish and poof in an instant which is really what a lot of people are going through right now, or at least they're facing the uncertainty of what is happening with their funds, and that includes myself. Now, almost 100 years ago, something similar happened in the traditional banking system with the Great Depression, and there are definitely parallels from crypto mania and the stock market mania. So you see, leading up to 1929, many ordinary working class citizens became interested in stock investments as the US economy and stock market experienced rapid expansion and stocks hit record highs. After all, they had no doubt that the party would keep continuing the economy in the 1920s was healthy, unemployment was low, and the automobile industry was booming. 
Sounds familiar to what happened to crypto last year? Now, the party eventually stopped and just weeks before the stock market crash of 1929, the Fed raised interest rates. Investor enthusiasm cooled and in October of 1929, we had one of the darkest moments in stock market history. But even after the stock market crash of 1929, many people thought there would be a quick recovery. After all, market contractions typically lasted only 15 months prior to that point in time and people thought it would be a mini recession. But that didn't exactly play out and then there started these massive bank runs where there was mass panic and many people ran to pull out cash from the banks. Now, due to the 1929 depression and the resulting aftermath of it, the FDIC or Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation was created in 1933 to protect bank depositors and to ensure a level of trust in the American banking system. Because at that time, there was a large number of small banks that went bankrupt. Depositors who thought these banks were safe, they lost everything. And if you think there are some parallels with kind of what happened back then with the entire Celsius situation, I have to think that there is actually some parallels and some similarities in terms of what actually happened. Like back then, no one would really trust banks anymore. Like right now, lots of people don't trust CeFi platforms anymore. And that's why if you talk to some of the older generation and elders, there is still a large distrust for banks and some people prefer to keep their cash under a mattress. So while the FDIC was created in the aftermath of the Great Depression to ensure people's trust in the banking system, unfortunately right now there is just no FDIC equivalent in the crypto world. It really is the, the Wild West. So. Going back to crypto.com, despite crypto.com being one of the C5 platforms who may have done like everything correctly from a risk management perspective, not get caught in over leverage or Luna or UST, there is still a negative halo effect from all these other C5 bankruptcies that will definitely make new people entering the space think twice before entering, which unfortunately isn't good news for all these bankruptcies to coincide with FIFA, such a major sponsorship. But unless there's like a major crypto growth catalyst that drives up the price of crypto, like the Ethereum merger to proof of stake driving the next leg of the bull run, I do find it difficult for crypto.com to get exponential user growth this year. They will probably still capture some steady user growth. And that doesn't mean that I think all is lost. Like I think some users may still wanna sign up immediately just for the simple fact that crypto.com is the easiest way for like newbies and beginners to buy and sell crypto and on and off ramp into fiat especially with the on and off ramping into fiat using the crypto.com debit card being one of the most underrated aspects of the platform as it's actually not really easy to do so in a lot of international countries like converting crypto into fiat. But beyond that, I'm really not sure what marketing tool crypto.com has in their toolbox that could drive exponential growth for them during FIFA. Like advertising is great, Maybe they could do a special NFT drop or something. But honestly, I think they're looking at slow, steady growth this year. And that's okay. They've already captured 50 million crypto users and growth is slowing down for even all major non crypto tech companies. Everyone is just trying to survive this year. Crypto.com is no different, but I do think that they get amazing brand awareness during FIFA. They may not get new customers this year, but they will definitely plant the seed for potential customers a couple years down the road. People are definitely gonna see and hear about Crypto.com during the FIFA World Cup. Now, just because they won't sign up for an account right away, it is still another marketing touch point. And a couple of years down the road, when kind of crypto recovers and users are ready to start kind of on ramping into crypto again, Crypto.com could be that big name that they choose that they've already heard about, especially if Crypto.com returns some of their benefits during the next major bull run. After all, they're everywhere in the NBA, in FIFA, in UFC, the Super Bowl. They're associating themselves with the right brands. So long term, I think the future is bright, but short term, personally, I don't really see a major catalyst coming in the next couple of months. I think FIFA is still gonna be a great marketing opportunity, but I don't really see exponential user growth. I just don't see people um, suddenly forgiving and forgetting about what has happened with Celsius and Voyager Digital. And even amongst the most hardcore loyal crypto.com users, I think if you're continuing to stay crow using the crypto.com debit card, like with all the news with Celsius and Voyager Digital, you're definitely one of those long-term crypto.com supporters. Like I myself personally, I've not really bought or sold any crypto since the crypto winter started, but I do continue to use my crypto.com debit card and I continue to keep staking on the app, getting those monthly crow rebates. I have a little bit stake in the DeFi wallet as well with Jerry's pool, I think. 
And I think a lot of people are in the same boat, especially with what happened with Celsius and Voyager Digital. I still think mainstream crypto adoption is definitely coming. And if you take a look at BlackRock introducing a spot-based ETF to its private clients, I mean, this is just massive news and it's just so much excitement and momentum in the space from these institutional investors for crypto in the future. Especially when you have a big name like BlackRock, it just really solidifies the future of crypto mainstream adoption, but it will take some time. I think there are still gonna be some boring years ahead with slow growth, which is fine. Like I think late 2020 to November, 2021 were really unusual years. Like lots of industries got super excited, got too ahead of themselves thinking that amazing growth would continue forever. But I think right now we're more at a normal pace of mainstream growth in a regular market. And I think if crypto.com just continues to build and grow during this bear market, not get any bad press like limiting withdrawals and just continue to survive and keep building a bright future could be ahead for them. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Crypto.com will have something up their sleeve for FIFA that will drive that next big round of user growth? What do you guys think will happen? As with anything and everything, please do your own due diligence and research. These are just my opinions. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.